Hello everyone, this is Kyle with QTE, and today we're going to look at the Migration Wizard. So if any of you have ever switched to a new version, you've probably noticed that you don't have all your stuff. Your tool libraries aren't there anymore, you don't have your, your post processors, um, your custom colors have been reset back to the generic, the default, like we have here. So today we're gonna to go through and show you how to get all that stuff, move forward to the next version. So right now I'm gonna flip over. We'll flip over to my 2021. And this is where we're gonna, this is where we're gonna pull the information to um, our new version. So you can see in the old version, I have some custom colors. I have, I'm in dark mode. Um, if I look at my machines, I have my hosses here. If I go over and look at my, if I pick a machine here, I go over and look at my tool databases. I have my custom databases. Kyle's tool database. So let's let's get started on moving this over to our new version. So let's flip back over to 2023. And uh, we're gonna start by going up to file. I'm going to go to convert. And migration wizard. This little window will pop up and you'll have two options. So basic actually works for most applications. Um, even if you've skipped a few versions, it will still work. It will grab your latest share folder and it will move it forward to the new version for you. But in the case like I have on my computer, um, where I've already have 2022 installed and I'd like to move my stuff from 2021 forward, I would use the advanced option. So let's, First, before we go into advanced, that's what we're going to use for this video, let's look at basic. Let's look what those options look like. So I'm going to go into basic. And you can see that we have our share folder. This is where all your post processors, um, your, your uh, tool libraries, and, and your simulation files will be. So you can see that our source file is grayed out. It's only going to be pulling from our 2022 shared mastercam folder. Well, I actually remembered that I got some stuff in my 2021 folder. I want to move forward as well. So I actually want to use the uh, it, the advanced option instead of basic. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and I'm going to go back into the migration wizard. Let's go to file, convert, migration wizard, and I'm going to pick the advanced option. So now I get a few more options. This will default off. I actually want to move both forward and get my custom colors too for my config. So let's go in and actually, I'm going to change my source file because I remember we want to get all the stuff from our 2021 move forward from here. So let's, let's go ahead and change the location here. And all I should really need to do is change this here to 2021. That'll work just fine. Do the same here, or we can browse. So I can hit browse. I can go in here and I can pick that folder. We'll do the same here. Instead of 2022, I'll do 2021. And then this is set. So let's go ahead and hit next. And on this next page, we can actually pick what we want to move forward. So you don't actually actually have to move everything forward. So we can pick post files, wire power libraries, anything we want. So I'm going to just pull everything for this example. And we'll go ahead and hit next. These are all the different versions that it can move forward. So everything, even if we had something from 2020 um, in our 2021 folder, it would still move it to the newest version for us. Hit next, and then we have a summary page, and then I'm gonna hit finish. Now this little dialog box will pop up, and this is just kind of a progress bar. Um, of what it's moving over. Um, this will take five to 15 minutes, depending on how much you have in this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, skip forward in the video and come back after this has already moved everything for us. Okay, and we are back. Uh, the migration wizard has finished and it's asking us if we wanna see our results. You can hit yes if you'd like, but all it does, I'll show you here, all it does is show you the the, uh, the log, the event log. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that and you'll see everything is starting to snap into place. Oh, my my uh, managers are 
back where I had them in 2021, it switched it to dark mode. Um, and my custom background is also there. So let's let's take a look at some of the more important things. Um, let's go into our machine group. Sorry, our machine tab. And let's take a look. I don't know why some these sometimes pop up like this. These aren't actually there. I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. And I'll go back in there. Now we can see that our Haas, our generic Haas fourth axis machines are in there. I'm going to go ahead and add these. Perfect. Got those now. Um, I'm going to check to see if my custom database made it forward. My tool manager. And let's see if Kyle's tool database is here. There's my tool database. Perfect. My custom tools move forward. And let's make sure that this post, most important thing, make sure we can bring our programs out to the machine on our new version of MasterCam. Simple contour path there. Go ahead and post. And we have posted code. So that's about all we have for today on our migration wizard. If you have any questions for us, you can always email us at support at qtemfg.com. That was support at qtemfg.com. We're here to help. We actually love toolpath questions and questions like this. So please send those in if you have any questions and have a great day.